Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a what I eat in a day video. And part of the reason why I thought I would do that is because every time I cook for you guys, I'm always doing a big feast for loads of people and it's just me, maybe Jen, eating the food. So I thought it's only fair that I actually show you guys what I actually eat in a day. And we're gonna start things off with my version of an eggs Florentine. So like the main reason why I make this dish like all the time, and that's simply because of English muffins. I mean, of course I'm a little bit biased to just anything that says English on it, but they're just delightful guys, and they work perfectly with this dish. So we're gonna get one, we're gonna give it a little chop. Then I'm gonna get some baby bellet mushrooms, and then just give them a nice thin slice. Then I'm gonna get an onion, one large slice. And then I'm just gonna get one clove of garlic. I know garlic isn't really like a perfect breakfast vibe, but just one just adds a little bit of depth to it. But hang out with the mushrooms. Then I'm gonna grab a nice tomato and I'm just gonna do the same. Perfect. And now we just get the frying pan out. Then I'm gonna add a bit of butter. Let that melt down a little bit. I know usually eggs Florentine have that kind of creamy hollandaise kind of style sauce over the top, but we don't need it with this one, you know? We've got so many flavors, we've got the garlic, we've got the butter as well. Everything's a bit better with a bit of butter, so you don't need it. Right, so I'm just gonna add the onion down. I'm gonna throw the mushrooms in. As they're starting to brown, we're gonna pop the garlic in. Nice amount of salt, lovely bit of pepper. Right, so I'm just gonna take the onion out. Then I'm gonna add a big old handful of spinach. We just want this on a nice low heat now because it doesn't take long to wilt down. I must say guys, you know, breakfast, it just is my favorite meal of the day. I think now that I'm getting older, I think morning's my favorite time of the day because it's kind of, you know, it's a fresh start. It's when I do all my meditation, my breath work exercises, all that kind of stuff where you feel the most clear and you feel the most focused. And obviously as the day goes on, it slowly just goes downhill. So I'm just gonna set this aside. Then let's make the poached eggs. I'm gonna put boiling water in. You wanna get it nice and hot on a high heat. You wanna add a little bit of vinegar. This helps keep the eggs together. Dash of fine salt. Right, now we've got a nice bubble. It's nice and hot. Let's get a whisk. Get a nice vortex going. Really get it around the edges. And as you let it spin, we get an egg in a bowl and pop it in the middle. Just nice and gentle like that. We'll keep it on a nice high heat and just keep an eye on it because it only needs between one and two minutes. Perfect, look at that. Right, so let's assemble. First, we got a nicely toasted muffins, tomatoes on top, some fried onion. Then we get our spinach and mushroom mix. Get that on top. Then we get our lovely poached eggs. Then we're gonna top with salt, with pepper, the dash of pecorino. And then we're gonna add everything but the bagel seasoning. This is perfect for kind of like eggs, avocado, lovely little crunch. And then I'm just gonna add a little splodge of sriracha because it's a lovely addition to most things. Lovely, and my version of an eggs Florentine is ready to serve. Oh wow, I am so excited for this. Obviously when I'm filming and cooking, it takes a little longer, so stomach's going a little bit crazy. Still sweating from the bike ride, so let's get straight in. Mm, I'll show you on your poached eggs, you know. Jen's already eaten breakfast. I guarantee you, I'm gonna call her now, She's gonna be very, very much up for one of my eggs. Hello. One of my egg Florentines. Yeah. Easy work. Here she comes. This looks amazing, holy crap. Jen is now 39 weeks today. Yep. 39 weeks. So as I was saying, we're, we're on limbo. Baby watch right now. Baby watch. Baby watch. Baby watch. Any second now. Mm. It's the English muffin. It's everything. That's true. It's, it's actually everything. And we use all this stuff for like, we use spinach, we use onions, we use mushrooms, we use it for dinner, we use it for lunch. So mm -hmm. very versatile, you know? Very versatile with ingredients that are already in your fridge. Exactly. Well, if you have these ingredients in your fridge, then they're already in your fridge. If not, put them in your the fridge, then they'll be in your the fridge, so. So we haven't quite made it to lunch yet and I'm a little bit peckish. Look, I did a bike ride this morning. I filmed, I did some errands. I'm about to film again. I, in fact, I am filming right now. So I need a little pick me up. And usually I'd have like a protein shake or something around this kind of time to keep me going. But recently, oh, recently I have found my absolute delight. Verb bars. If you guys haven't heard of these, they're caffeinated energy bars from green tea. They're so good, they're so compact. Look, they're the tiny little 
tiny little bars. It's like 90 calories, super healthy, super clean, gives you energy. And especially, you know, I try and do lots of adventures. I go on bike rides, I go kayaking. I try and go out and about and try and do my exercise, you know, within the sun and get some, get some adventure going on. So these bars, they're so convenient, they're so small, throw in your bag. And this time you don't wanna to get too cracked out having coffee. So something a bit cleaner, they're so, so good. So I highly recommend a lovely Verb bar. So thank you Verb for sponsoring this video. My favorite is the chocolate chip banana bread. Oh, so good. Verb have this amazing trial pack where you can try their top four flavors, blueberry crisp, double chocolate, salted peanut butter, and peppermint mocha, all for the price of shipping, which is less than $1. Absolutely, mmm, delightful. So now I've got my energy for my green tea caffeinated bar, which is vegan, it's dairy free, it's gluten free, with a full flavor. So now I'm ready for lunch. So you might have seen me make a pesto before, and you might have seen me make a pasta before, but have you seen me make a pesto pasta before? Have I made a pesto pasta before? I'm not sure, but anyway, the reason why I picked this one today is such a great lunch option for a big reason that it tastes great, but also it's so good in bulk. It's so good for leftovers. It's good cold, it's good hot. So I thought I'd show you how to make my lovely homemade pesto pasta today. So first we're gonna make the homemade pesto. We need a bowl. I'm gonna add a bunch of freshly washed basil. Then I'm gonna add about 15 grams of pine nuts. Then plenty of olive oil. And then I'm gonna add two cloves of garlic chopped up. Big old bunch of pecorino. Then a good amount of salt, good amount of pepper. And then some fresh lemon juice. Then we give it a blend. Let's set that aside. So next up, I'm gonna get half of a zucchini and I'm gonna chop it in half, and then just do half moon slices. And then I'm gonna get a red onion, and just make a large chunk. One more for luck. Lovely jubbly, puddlin pubbly. And then I'm just gonna add three more cloves of garlic. So we get the frying pan out, and then we'll get it to a medium heat, nice and dry. And we're just gonna add a few pine nuts. And then I just wanna fry these pine nuts for a few minutes until they get nice and brown and toasted. They taste great, they add such a nice texture and a little bit more protein to the dish. And then for our pasta, I'm going for rigatoni. It's just a personal favorite when it comes to the pasta shapes. Bring it to the boil, add some salt. And then you wanna cook this for about 10 to 12 minutes until nice and al dente. And then we wanna get the frying pan back out, add a good amount of olive oil. Then we're gonna add our veggies in. And again, you wanna fry these till they get nice and brown. So as I'm cooking this, I wanted to give a massive shout out to my best friend, Ross. We've been best friends since we were like five, six years old. He's living in Australia now, so we don't get to see each other that often. And he asked for this shout out. So Ross, you better be watching this because otherwise I'm basically talking to everyone except for you about you. So I love you, mate. I miss you and hopefully I'll see you soon. With that said, let's add some garlic, plenty of salt, Get a pepper in there. Then I'm gonna add some freshly washed cherry tomatoes, nice and whole. And then you wanna fry this for another couple of minutes to get the tomatoes nice and hot. And then we add a lovely homemade pesto. Right, and now we add our rigatoni. Oh, dear me. Right, the all important taste test, as you know. Hot, oh, hot, so hot but so good. I'm gonna add a few pine nuts over the top, a bit more pecorino over the top. Look at that. Now our homemade pesto pasta is good to serve. Oh, dearie me, little pesto pasta for lunch. Looks delicious, smells delicious, and <laughs> tastes delicious. Any day now, there's gonna be another member to our family. It's such a, such a crazy feeling, you know? I'm sure anyone that's a parent out there will obviously know this feeling. And it's a beautiful feeling, really. There's not an element of, you know, waiting or needing. It's just an element of, you know, appreciating the time we have now, being present, taking it one day at a time and kind of cherishing these last few days we have of, you know, a full night's sleep and just a bit of chill time, you know? Because we know our lives are gonna change and we know they're gonna change for the better. And it's not about kind of looking forward to or waiting for something that's gonna bring you more joy or whatever it is. It's taking one day at a time, enjoying what we have now. And it is a really weird balance because I've always been good at being present, but I'm also aware that around the corner is meeting my son, you know? So it's, re it's been such a test to kind of 
not get too lost in thought, but be prepared mentally, physically, all these kind of stuff. So it's been very introspective, very beautiful, cannot wait. And I'm just happy that I'm able to like finish this video without having to rush to the hospital. So, mm. see you guys at dinner. Right, so it is dinner time. It's not actually dinner time, it's about 5 p.m. We're starting early for a couple of reasons. Number one, we love an early dinner. We love an early dinner. I feel like the older we get, the earlier our dinners get. And Jen is officially joining me for dinner tonight. So, you know, I'm filming, get everything ready. So let's crack on. Tonight, the lady has requested a proper fish and chips. And that is exactly what she's gonna get. So we're gonna need a lovely bit of fresh cod. It's been washed, it's good to go. And then I'm just gonna slice this fillet in half. And then I'm gonna pat them dry. Perfect, now we have the fish. We're gonna get our breadcrumbs, a whisked egg, and our flour. And then we have a little assembly line here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the fish, just give it a light roll in the flour, and then a light egg wash. This is gonna help it stick. And then we give it a good old fashioned roll in the breadcrumbs. Right, so now they are breaded. Get the frying pan out. Then we want a good amount of vegetable oil. Now it's nice and hot. You're gonna add the fish. Then you wanna fry this for a few minutes each side until brown, golden, succulent, lovely. Right, now these are looking beautiful. They're looking brown, an element of crisp, and an element of succulence, looks lovely. So now let's set these aside. Next up, we're gonna move on to our chips. Now this is the only time that Americans call fries chips, when it's fish and chips. You know what it means when you say fish and chips. Any other time, you think it's crisps. Anyway, I'm not gonna get back into that whole chips fries thing. We're gonna need a couple of potatoes. Give them a good old peel. First, I'm gonna chop off the ends, get them nice and flat. Then I'm gonna chop it down the middle. Then in half again, then in half again, then in half again. All the halves. And then I'm gonna get a bowl. And I just wanna soak these potatoes in a bowl of cold water for about 10 minutes. It just helps remove the starch, gets them a bit crispier. Let's get the frying pan out. A good amount of avocado oil. Avocado oil seems to work well with high heat. So the key with these is to give them a lot of love and attention. It's like anything in life, you know? The more attention and care you give it, the better it will be. You don't want any size to feel left out, so keep turning it. You want it on like a medium heat. Anything too hot, they'll get really crispy on the outside but be too hard in the middle. Too much of a low heat and they'll get too soggy. It's funny how many people recently have been asking me like, are you scared? You know, your life's about to change forever. You're about to be a father and for me it's, I'm just so excited. And I, I think if you asked me a couple of years ago, I'd probably have a slightly different mindset towards it. But the work I've done, my mindfulness and learning about the law of attraction and what you put your mind to becomes your truth. And if you focus on all the worries and the doubts and the fears and the things that can go wrong, that's what you're gonna attract. So especially when it comes to fatherhood, you know, there is a lot of fears, there's a lot of doubts, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And I'm learning to be practical, to sort out the things I need to sort out so I'm prepared but then focus my mind on what can go right. And I think, you know, we're in a world surrounded by so much of our focus from the news, what's wrong with the world? From our mindset, what's wrong with ourselves? What's wrong with other people? And something I've been trying to do recently is to become bigger than your environment. And what I mean by that is only what I want happens within me. What I want might not happen around me, but only what I want happens within me. You know, you're in traffic bad weather, things that go against you that is out of your control. If you let those things that are out of your control affect your emotions, then you're a product of your environment. You don't get to control what happens within you. What happens within you is dictated by your environment. And that's not good, you are not in control. So that's something I'm trying to exercise. So even with a baby, a screaming baby, crying its eyes out, that is my environment. I can't control that to some degree. So I gotta to learn to kind of accept it. How do I accept that? Be present in the moment, let it go because it's something you can't control. And once you can start doing that, everything in life becomes so much easier. You can apply that to everything. So I fully recommend trying that, especially if you're next in traffic. So, right, as you can see, the chips are looking nice and brown. Now it's time to get our salt on. We're going for some nice smoked Moldham salt and then some pepper. Love it. Right, so now my proper chips are looking lovely. I'm gonna set them aside. So last up, we're gonna do some mushy peas. If you haven't had mushy peas before, they are peas that have been mushed. So we're gonna pop them in a pot, add some boiling water, add some salt, but then we just boil this for like two to three minutes and then we give it a good old mush. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and then I'm gonna add some fresh mint leaves. This just gives it a lovely little taste. Salt, bit of pepper. Then here comes the mush. Perfect, now our peas have been mushed. Now let's assemble our lovely proper fish and chips. 
We're gonna add our lovely fish fillets. Then we're gonna make our nice chip tower. Then we'll add our lovely mushy peas, cheeky bit of tartar sauce, and a lovely bit of lemon. Now our proper fish and chips is good to serve. Right, babe, welcome to your uh, Friday night fish and chips. This is epic. I always love the fry tower. It just makes anything just look more impressive, <laughs> it doesn't really it? And it's does. fun to do, a bit of Jenga. And obviously, guys, if you don't know, you've got to have your malt vinegar. You've got to put it on the chips. Get it on there. Drink it up. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. Is there mint in the peas? Oh! Mmm. We had to have an early dinner tonight because, I mean, earlier we thought. This could be go time. Oh yeah. I feel like by the time this video comes out, probably gonna have met our, met our son, mm -hmm. which is a really weird concept. Also makes this video a little bit irrelevant. So. <laughs> so that is what I eat in a day. Not every day, it's just what I eat in today. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my lovely wife for joining me. And next time there might be another member to join us. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for watching. Thank you Bird for sponsoring. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.